All right, ladies and gentlemen, today let's talk about having air conditioning on your sailboat. Now, I talk about it often, and in my opinion, it is absolutely 100% a necessity. And every time I bring it up in a video, I get a rash of nonsense in my comments talking about how you can't have air conditioning on a sailboat and it takes too much power and all this other nonsensical silliness that I get. So today, let's talk about why you might need air conditioning, when you should be using it, and how you can achieve getting air conditioning on your sailboat without needing 37 lithium batteries to be able to run it. So when might you actually need air conditioning? Well, I myself, I live down here in the Southern Caribbean, also known as the Lesser Antilles. And down here, basically all year long, it's about 85 degrees, if not higher, on warm days with a real temperature feel of about 105 with an absolutely outrageous humidity level of somewhere between 90 and 95 percent. Now, living down here in the Caribbean on a sailboat full time is fantastic. We have some of the best sailing waters in the entire world right in my backyard. But as I mentioned, it is always incredibly hot, especially when the trade winds are not here. And the trade winds are only running down here for about six months out of the year. The other half of the year, literally living on a sailboat is 100% unbearable unless you have air conditioning. Not only is it warm, humid, and muggy, but we also have bugs. The little bugs will find you all the time on a sailboat. And one of the best ways to alleviate some of your bug problems is to have your cabin cool down quite a bit. Therefore, those little mosquitoes will go looking for a warmer climate to search for their prey and hopefully stop biting us. Something that is always brought up as well, I'm living on the hook, it's breezy all the time. It's just not, that's not reality. And if you wanna live a comfortable life full time on a sailboat and you plan to be sailing in these warmer climates, I 100% suggest figuring out a way to get yourself AC on your sailboat. Living on a sailboat is hard enough as it is. It's always cramped, it's small, blah, blah, blah. So we want to make it as comfortable as possible for ourselves living full time. And yes, sometimes we'll have a breeze, not going to need the AC. Other times it's going to be unbearable. And when it comes to running your AC, when I refer to having air conditioning on your sailboat, I don't mean that you need to run it 24 hours a day, but the ability to have an air conditioning unit on your vessel that you can run for a couple of hours at night to cool down the interior of your cabin can be an absolute lifesaver when it comes to comfort. So it's not something that you need to run all of the time. But again, that ability to cool down your cabin is incredibly important. And we don't need to plan for even attempting to run this AC unit six or seven hours a day or even four hours a day. Just the ability for an hour or two when we need it to kick it on is going to be a tremendous improvement in your quality of life when you're living on the hook or at any of these warm marinas here in the Caribbean. Now the need to have air conditioning down here is so prevalent. Actually at a lot of the marinas, they have portable rentable air conditioning units that they will wheel out to you on the dock and you run them right there from shore. That's because, like I said, it's ridiculously hot and muggy down here and they are 100% needed. And if you still think that having air conditioning on your vessel is absurd, you should take a look at some of these full-time sailors. These people have washing machines on board. You are telling me that being cool and comfortable is not more important than the ability to wash your clothes on board? Let me know in the comments below which one you think is more important. Clean laundry or having your cabin cool? Totally up to you, personal preference. 
It is, however, almost 2023, and if you are still stuck in a world of 8-tracks where you think that you need to be completely uncomfortable all of the time on your vessel just because you live on a sailboat, you should do yourself a favor and step up to the plate, get yourself back in the year 2022, come to terms with technology and reality. There is no longer a reason to be incredibly uncomfortable on board and give up all of these amenities you have on land that you enjoy that make your life more comfortable just because you're living on a sailboat. Get with the times and get out of the past. So with all of that being said, what are our options to get air conditioning on our sailboat? Well, you actually have a plethora of options and different routes that you can choose. First up, we can go with our portable air conditioning unit. Yes, this is gonna be something similar to what you've seen at Home Depot. There are a million different varieties of these, and what you're going to want to find is the smallest one that uses the least amount of power. In addition to that, what you should be doing is installing what they call a soft start on the unit. And when it comes to air conditioning units, if you have something like a 16,000 BTU air conditioning unit, it's gonna rip about 70 amps initially on startup. Now, if you had a soft start on that unit, you can get that initial power surge draw down to about 17 amps. That is a huge reduction in the initial power draw for your unit. So therefore, we're not going to need to step up to some huge inverter on our vessel to be able to deal with that type of a surge. Just do yourself a favor and add a very nice soft start to the unit. There are several different varieties out there to choose from. Do your research and pick which one you think is going to work the best for you. Now with this type of an AC setup on your vessel, of course there are some drawbacks. Nowadays, they make these fairly small and you can get them to where they only stand about 28 inches tall and are only about 16 inches deep and then 14 inches wide or so. But they will come in right around 50 pounds and that's kind of a pain in the rump to be lugging up and down or around and throughout your vessel. So if you were to go this route, you'd obviously need to figure out a place to mount it. In my opinion, it shouldn't just be rolling around. You should mount it somewhere on your vessel. Easily can fit in one of your aft cabin cabinets, and then you just need to figure out how to vent it from there. Now, this is not the perfect solution, but it absolutely will do the job. On most of our 40-foot sailboats, we don't need to cool a huge amount of area inside the cabin. They are very small in the square footage department, so these units will do more than enough to cool down your cabin at night for a couple hours when you truly feel that you need it. Just mount it somewhere properly, properly vent it, and then run it throughout your cabin. It really is not that much. It, of course, is going to take some do-it-yourself skills and things like that, but this is absolutely an easily installed unit. And if you go with one of these lower wattage ones, you can get the wattage down to about 600 watts. That's really not that bad at all, and this can easily be pulled directly off of your house battery bank, of course, depending on what your batteries are, and so on. But being a full-time cruiser, your main concern should always be loading your vessel up with as much solar as you possibly can and obtaining the largest battery bank that you can. These are two of your main foundational components that you need on your vessel if you truly want to live off-grid on the hook comfortably. Now, our next option on the list is not quite as economically friendly. I'm sure that you have all heard of these portable power stations. Blue Yeti makes them, Jackery, and a ton of other companies now make these incredible portable power stations. This thing can be picked up, thrown on your dinghy, taken to shore if you need power for some reason, on some deserted island and go from there. They also come with foldable solar panels in most cases, and something like this is incredibly portable, efficient, and not really cost effective, but they're portable and they are efficient. Now, depending on which unit you go with, I will show you a Jackery right here. This one has 2,200 watts of output power, 4,400 watts of peak surge power, and a 2160 watt hour capacity. They, of course, as I said, are incredibly expensive. To just get this unit with one solar panel, it's gonna run you about 2,500 bucks. 
But if you don't have the solar or the battery bank on your vessel or the money to install what is required, you can pick up one of these and then one of those portable AC units and you're pretty much ready, set to go. Now, the nice thing about these portable ones is that you can just plug it right into your vessel when you're under power and charge her on up. No problem. It'll charge fairly quickly under a couple of hours if it's plugged in. With the solar panel array, if you get the absolute top six solar panel thing on this one, it can still charge in under a couple of hours. You can fold it away and tuck it right in a cabin, no problem, and it is out of sight and out of mind. But again, the biggest con here is the cost. Now up next, we have our most expensive option overall. This is getting actual marine air conditioning unit installed on your vessel. Now you can do something like a Dometic Cuddy DC-2. These are incredibly efficient, but they are expensive. These units are going to cost you about $4,000 just for the unit. And then you can, of course, install it yourself. However, they are quite a bit of work. By the time that you buy all of the parts and supplies needed, spend the time installing this unit, this is going to cost you right around $5,000 with everything that is going to be needed to install one of these. Now, these are incredibly, incredibly efficient. This will only pull about 500 watts and you can vent it throughout the cabin. Of course, you do have to run a whole bunch of ductwork as well as a lot of wiring discharge hoses, through hole, things like that. So this is an absolute ton of work, but this is the best way to go if you do have the money. However, if it was me, myself, I think that I would just go ahead and do one of those portable power stations with the solar panels, as well as a portable ACU unit, and then run that throughout my cabin. That's fairly simple, a little bit cost prohibitive, up Front, but it will absolutely get the job done and it's going to run you right about the middle of the road as far as cost effectiveness. So you let me know in the comments below, what do you think of having air conditioning on a vessel? Do you think you need it? Can you live without it? And have you ever even been down here to the tropics on a boat and seen how hot it gets? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, like all of those good things. It really, really helps the algorithm. Now, if you do need help getting on the water sooner than later, head on to my website at chasinglatitudes.com. Sign up for a consulting package. Come join me on the members area and let's get your path back on the water set up in the most cost efficient and time efficient manner. Also consider joining my patron for only $10 a month. You do get full access to my members area where I'm available to chat almost 24 seven. Thank you so much for watching. Hit my website, sign up for the newsletter, get a free copy of my new ebook, leave a comment down below, and I will see you on the next video.